Creating engagement in a distance education environment can be difficult. Here are some tips using Poll Everywhere to create more engagement with your audience. The first thing you want to do is go to polleverywhere.com. Poll Everywhere does offer some plans and different pricing options, but you can also sign up and use it for free as well. There are some limitations, but for most of what people use it for, the free options will work pretty well. So just click on Sign Up, and then choose You Are Presenting. If you've ever seen Poll Everywhere, you also know that you can participate in polls and be identified by how you answer polls. But right now, we'll just click You Are Presenting and go through the sign-in process. Once you log into your account, you'll be brought to a page similar to this, where you can create new polls. What I recommend doing first is downloading the app that works with how you create your presentations. So if you use PowerPoint or Keynote or Google Slides, I recommend downloading the software that will plug right into those applications. You can also get one for Office 365. So if you create your slides using PowerPoint in Office 365, you can get a plugin that will work with that as well. Once you've installed the app, go ahead and create your first poll. You'll notice that there's an option to enter a question or a survey. The only real difference is that a survey is a combination of questions you create, whereas questions have the tendency to just be single questions. I'm going to go ahead and add this very simple question as well. You'll notice as I started typing, many different possibilities for how the audience will respond appeared. So the first one is a multiple choice option, but you can choose to have it be an open-ended question or maybe a ranked question or a clickable image. I'm going to keep it as a multiple choice question right now. I could choose to edit my answers right now. So instead of red, it could be black. Uh, I could also choose to delete one of the choices or upload an image. So instead of green being listed, I could choose a green color. But I'm going to keep it as it is right now and choose Create. Once you've created your poll, it'll bring you to a page where you can basically edit anything that you want to about your poll. You can change how the poll looks when it's being displayed. Uh, you can choose how people respond, whether it's via website, some text message, maybe even Twitter, um, how many times pe people can respond or how long the poll is open. Uh, you even get an option to test the poll. Really, the only important part right now is to make sure that you activate the poll. So I'm going to go ahead and click this little icon here to make sure that my poll is active. Now that I've activated my poll, I'm going to go ahead and open a PowerPoint. And I'm also going to open the Poll Everywhere Presenter. That's the little app that I recommended you downloaded and installed a minute ago. So what I'm going to do is create a slide and then go to the Poll Everywhere presenter, log into that, and then I can see my poll question show up here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the box and then tell it to insert the poll into my PowerPoint. It picks this default picture here, tells people how it's going to show up, but whenever I'm presenting it, it should show up like this. So it gives a real-time display of how people will respond to my questions and still gives the options for texting in or responding via website. So now that I've created a poll and I've inserted that poll into my PowerPoint presentation, I am going to join into my virtual meeting. So I'm going to join into my virtual conferencing room. And while I'm in there, I'm going to share my presentation. So I'm going to, in Whistline Anytime video, click on Start Presenting. I'm going to choose to share my entire screen. And then I will go back to my PowerPoint presentation and choose to share that. This process is pretty similar regardless of which distance education tool you're using. So you see it brings up my slide and with the poll responses. And now I can go ahead and start to accept poll answers And you can see it changes dynamically as people respond to the poll. Apparently, a lot of people think that blue is their favorite color. So as you can see, 
using poll everywhere is a great way to increase audience engagement using distance education tools. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you'd like to learn how to use distance education tools to create more engagement from your audience, please let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you.